Well, first I want to welcome you to Rutgers in the name of the Dean and say that probably two years we're not going to be here. We are going to be about uh, two blocks down the street in our new building, which uh, is there already. We're just kind of taking two, uh, two years to reform it, right? whenever we start reforming it. So that's, uh, but it's, uh, it's a very exciting time for us. Um, and uh, I don't know what else the Dean would say. I'm sure you would say this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he also would say that we have him on tape from last year a conference saying that continuous reporting is an extremely important thing and is a, one of the critical things that Rutgers is doing. Now, that, that done, uh, I'm not a dean anymore. Um, I actually want to talk a little bit about what we are trying to do this, this year and last year. And uh, this is not kind of a new round. And I, I kind of start thinking about. Uh, uh, about I uh, joined Rutgers in 89 and a couple of years later Alex Kogan joined us and Fred was here already and we started working on continuous auditing Fred, that's Fred Sudit, many of you know, know Alex Kogan but uh, Fred Sudit uh, was here already and we started working on this area of continuous auditing and for a while we kind of had this kind of benign neglect from everyone I mean, they would accept our papers and let us talk in conferences, and no one really was particularly interested. And somewhere in kind of 98, 99, it's kind of exploded uh, interest. And we went to the, uh, we went to the IIA, uh, we went to, to, to the CICA meetings, and we started the task force, the continuous reporting and audit task force. And we created what we call the Red Book, which was the first continuous auditing guidelines. Um, and since then, then there are a series of AICPA committees and etc. etc. And we started noticing in the last three years, two years, substantial expansion of interest in this area of continuous, continuous auditing. Um, actually, we have, and I'm going to tell you, bit a, a few projects with large corporations going on at this particular moment. They seem to be doing very well. Uh, is uh, leading edge projects that we basically are directing the world on, on how to do certain types of things. So it's, uh, it's, very, uh, it's very rewarding to be doing that. I'll tell you a little bit about that. But I, I actually want to talk before a little bit about this conference. The reason we started this last year is that we had this very, um, this very intense feeling that there was a need, and Michael and myself uh, with Amy, Policy from the ICPA have been working on what we call EBI, Enhanced Business Reporting. And the idea behind EBI was some kind of response to the malfeasance crisis. And what we were trying to do at that time, um, under AICPA sponsorship, uh, we created a set of models. We created one and other people created others on the EBI. And one of the things we felt very strong in Michael and myself on the academic side, that there was tremendous need to intensify and accelerate reporting schemata, doing reporting on the real time. And so we thought about this and said, well, this is like continuous auditing déjà vu. We need to be very activistic about this uh, in order to make it happen. So last year we decided to have a very small conference like this one. We, we kind of wanted a small room. Uh, and what we wanted to do is an activistic thing. And so the idea was to create the, what we call, call a storyboard now, which is tape record uh, conferences, video tape records, prepare clips on them and put them on YouTube. And so that was the idea, like kind of our first way to sell a set of ideas. Uh, or really we don't even think in terms of selling it, but we think in terms of uh, generating a dialogue, a research dialogue. And that's actually the reason why this year we are kind of having the journal conference and this conference together because we want to use the journal, the journal as an outlet of this dialogue in addition to the story, uh, the story books that we have prepared. So this is really kind of a, a cozy little conference that we are putting together. We basically chose very carefully about the speakers or people that could kind of push the ideas forward. And uh, that's what we are aiming to do. And you can see that I think the program reflects that. Not just in as a retrospective, we were doing this kind of thing, trying to sell the idea of continuous auditing for years. Several of you have been involved in some of this, uh, this type of effort. Um, and now we are at the stage in our continuous auditing whereby uh, 
the conferences are driven basically by commercial concerns that uh, sell software in the area and of course the big four. And we expect this idea of more active and continuous reporting to be like the way of things to come. And with the financial uh, institution crisis we are having now, which uh, in my view is by no means resolved, uh, I think the pressure for a more up-to-date scorecard of what's happening in the financial instruments on these major institutions and in minor institutions and in private equity uh, companies and in hedge funds is going to become more and more uh, needed. Um, and uh, you know, uh, you're going to see my presentation. I actually was sp spent some time reading long-term ma capital management of the Mice, a book by, by Lowenstein. And it, the thing that struck me most was how similar it is. Meaning it's just, and the players, Merrill Lynch, Citibank, Chase, etc., etc., the same set of problems. And you know, of course, uh, uh, obviously we have a little bit of a bias here, but it's really a problem of measurement and a problem of non disclosure of measurement. And so we are now very serious about trying to push this far forward and we do believe that this is going to be happening. Just to kind of give you a validation of this, uh, at least in our, the rationale for this, is, you know, no one was particularly interested in continuous auditing um, in, in 1990, let's say eight, ten years ago. And now we have projects with Siemens, we have projects with HCA, a project KPMG, now this, we're starting three projects with KPMG, and basically two other Fortune 50 companies are, uh, are actually going to be here on Tuesday talking to us about the projects. So uh, we think that that is happening. We don't see ourselves anymore in the continuous auditing as in the, in the role of activistic promoters. I think now the role is we do research, let someone else sell the concept because it's already advanced enough. But we see that in continuous reporting, we are still in that evangelical uh, promotion mode. And therefore, that's why we are going to, we are taping this and we are going to do all kinds of little promotion things. Uh, we are very thankful for the IMA to being here and having basically been with us from the beginning on this set of ideas where we think that uh, the kind of triangle of continuous uh, measurement in, in business, which is happening to ERPs, is going to be kind of come out as continuous measurement for the stakeholders of business in the financial reporting area, and it will be a continuum. Also very thankful for the FEI to be here, and because I think the FEI, the IMA, and hopefully the ICPA together can kind of drive this activism a little bit and make things accelerate to the large memberships that they have. So, uh, you know, I see it's 903, so I already kind of ran over my, my time allocation here. And uh, uh, please uh, see this day as kind of second historic day that we're pushing this idea or more frequent or I would say continuous reports. And uh, so... Okay, and we, with that, let's move on to our first panel. Then you come forward and... Uh, we have a strong panel to give us some background on the credit crisis. Uh, while they're setting up, let me just point out that uh, uh, there are copies of the journal here, right? And front, please feel free to take one. Right? My coincidence happens to have the proceedings of the first conference uh, published, so you can see uh, what's in there. Okay?